To take the derivative of sine x over cosine x, we simply need to use the quotient rule because this is a quotient of functions. It's sine x divided by cosine x. This is, of course, the same as tangent of x, so we are here finding the derivative of tangent. Now, the quotient rule, as you may recall, is the derivative of f of x divided by g of x is f prime times g minus g prime times f divided by g squared. Remember, f of x is sine of x because that's the numerator. g of x is cosine of x because that's the denominator. So let's apply the formula and see what we get. In the numerator, we begin with f prime, the derivative of f. f is sine x, so f prime is cosine x. Then we multiply that by g of x, which is cosine x. So we have cosine x times cosine x. Then we subtract g prime. That's the derivative of the denominator, the derivative of cosine. The derivative of cosine is negative sine x. So there is our g prime. And we multiply that by f of x, which is the numerator. That's sine of x. Then we divide by g of x squared. g of x is cosine of x. So when we square that, we just get cosine squared. X. And this simplifies very nicely because, in fact, in the numerator, what we have is cosine squared, and then we actually have plus because we have two negatives. So we could just get rid of those parentheses and the minuses and just write this as plus. There are two negatives, so it's addition. And what we're adding is sine squared. So we have cosine squared plus sine squared, but the Pythagorean identity, that's one. Sine squared plus cosine squared, or the other order, order doesn't matter because it's addition, that is one. So this is just one divided by cosine squared. And by definition, that's just secant squared because secant is one over cosine. So the derivative of sine over cosine, and thus the derivative of tangent of x, is secant squared. So there you go. That's how you take this derivative using the quotient rule. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and check out my Calculus 1 exercises playlist in the description for more.